Now let's talk about assessment techniques. This is going to be how you do a physical examination. So previously we talked about health history, right? Where a patient comes into your office, your ER, or even onto your floor. The first thing you're going to do is ask them a series of background questions to really collect that subjective data. Now the next thing that follows is the physical exam. So just let the name help you, right? We're getting physical with that client and this is what you're going to do as a nurse. So it includes everything that you see, touch, smell, hear, and even taste. I'm just kidding, not the taste <laughs> part. But this is considered an objective assessment. So for each body system, you're going to be doing a physical exam in a certain particular order. So Allison, can you explain that? You're going to want to remember the acronym IPPA. So the I stands for inspect. You'll inspect first. Then the two P words, you're going to want to remember to put these two words in alphabetical order. So the first one is palpate, P-A, palpate. So that goes first. Then you're going to percuss, P-E, so that's going to be second. And finally, you'll auscultate. So the A stands for auscultate. Okay, so first we inspect, right? Yes. Second, we palpate, because the A comes first, and P-A. Mm -hmm. Then you percuss, which I remember that like as percussion, because you're actually tapping stuff. And then the last one is auscultate, or listening, right? That's correct. Okay, so starting with inspection, what are we looking for? So when you're inspecting, you're going to do some close, careful scrutiny of a lot of times it's the skin and looking at different body features. Okay. But you actually start it when you very first walk in that door. The moment that you walk into that room, you start a general survey, which is basically an overall inspection of the patient. Then as you go body system by body system, you're going to go a little bit closer each time and look a little bit further. Okay, and so that's where the sixth sense of the nurse comes in. Like right when you walk in the door, you can immediately know if something's wrong. Absolutely, where you get that spidey sense that you need to learn to trust. And so then after that, you're going to do palpation. And so palpation, you're going to explore further some things that you saw during inspection. Okay. And with palpation, you're actually going to lay your hands on the patient, which is an important part because you're going to use different parts of your hands to feel for different things, okay. which we'll go into further in just a moment. And then the second P is that percussion. So percussion is just a fancy word for tapping. So you're going to use your fingers and you're going to be percussing using short, sharp strokes to see what the underlying structures are. And again, we'll go further into that in just a moment. Okay. And then finally, we have auscultation. So for auscultation, you're going to use your stethoscope and you're going to listen to those sounds produced by the body. And so we're going to talk about the two sides of the stethoscope because they listen for different things. Now getting into the details here, inspection includes a very general survey, then a focused exam for body systems. So inspection is simply a process of observation. We're just going to be looking at the client, but we're using all of our senses here. So not just sight, we're trying to inspect this patient. So make sure you're looking at everything dead on and moving at all different angles, right? So remember, first we're doing a whole and then specific body system. So we start with that general overall survey here. Now for another practice question that's commonly missed, which describes the nurse using the technique of auscultation? So the correct answer here is the nurse detects gurgling throughout the abdomen. 